Boyd, um, you guys had 41 assists on 48 made shots today. Uh, just what, what was allowing you guys to move the ball so freely, make shots the way you did? Um, just trusted the pass, got to the second side, and uh, got some open looks, and uh, was able to knock them down tonight. Uh, Ty mentioned that uh, Nico is kind of is going to be the starting moving forward. What, is, what does he bring to you guys in that starting unit specifically? Uh, pace, uh, you know, same thing he brought off the bench. Um, did it again tonight. Came in, made shots, good defender, got some steals, some deflections. Going, going up against uh, Demar Zach, and you know, in the, in the playoff race, I mean, I know it's a little early, but I'm looking ahead to you know potentially playing those teams that can hit the mid range, focus on their offense in the mid range. What kind of takeaways uh, did you have for how the team defended um, those guys tonight? Uh, well, I mean, they they still shot the ball pretty well. Uh, I think uh, we were able to, you know, get some turnovers and get out in transition, and uh, just made more threes in them tonight. Uh, got a got a, got a lot more threes up, and uh, made a lot more. Uh, so that's pretty much what won the game because they still shot 40 from three, 50 from the field. So. What do you feel like needs to got a big week ahead with teams that are paint heavy, play fast? Uh, what kind of things does the team need to focus on as success going on this road trip? Uh, just uh, staying bought in with each other because uh, we are going to be on the road. Uh, definitely just transition defense, uh, able to communicate with a loud crowd, and um, yeah, that's going to be the keys for us. Cool. Uh, at halftime, you guys were up by seven. Um, you, didn't, you only had seven points to half as well. How much pressure does it take off of you when guys like Nico and Eric are getting it going? And the offense is clicking, and you don't have to score as much early on. Oh, it's great. Um, you know, they set the tone tonight offensively, making shots. Uh, you know, um, this is what we're going to have to do if, uh, you know, with PG being out. And um, yeah, so it just opens up the floor. Kawhi, uh, tonight you guys faced off against Pat Bev again, and we just saw him yesterday play against the Lakers, giving LeBron the uh, two short. Uh, just curious, how much fun is it for you when you face off against Pat, just knowing he's you know, one of the most vocal guys in the league who likes to talk trash and have fun playing the game? Uh, I mean, it's fun. I uh, just go out and know him personally. Uh, so, uh, you know, he, he's been here, you know what he's about. And uh, like I said, it's fun just, you know, competing against him. He's a competitor. Um, you know, he, he wants to win every matchup uh, when he's guarding someone or if he's attacking someone on the offensive end. Last one, Andrew. Clyde, with the, with the obviously Paul out on the margin for error, it's so much smaller now. Do you feel like you're in a place physically where you might be able to play on both nights of the back-to-back, -back, two, two remaining as a team? We'll see what happens. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.